Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And yes, we can't get enough of this jelly soda! I mean, how can you hate this? It's super fun to make, and it's quite the yummy treat too! Last time we did half of a jelly cola bottle, so this time we'll make a full bottle! Alrighty, let's pour out the cola into this bowl! Ah, nothing like the sweet sound of soda fizz. It sounds like heavy rainfall, and that puts me to ease. Okay, now that the storm is over, we'll put this to the side for now. Before I use my hands to rip this label off, but it didn't come out too well sometimes, so I'll use this exacto knife to cut out the glue. Hopefully it'll make it better. We'll find out. Alright, just peel it off. Ah. This is the tricky part right here. Careful... Ah, oh, that should be good. Now I'll use the X-Acto knife again to cut a line down the middle of the bottle. I won't pause the video this time to give you a long warning about using sharp objects. I think I've warned you guys enough. And you guys are awesome fans, so you guys do listen. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Now we don't want any accidents happening in the fridge, so... I'll need to use this duct tape to cover up the line. Be sure to really stick on that duct tape. I mean, you might get a few leaks, but that's okay. We just don't want any of the big leaks. That would be, ooh, one messy fridge. Time for the jelly stuff. We'll need 100 milliliters of water, eight packets of the non-flavored gelatin, so much jelly. Here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll give it a nice mix. Since there isn't much water, it might be a little hard for you to mix it. Best way to do it is probably get your spoon all the way down there and just start mixing up. Woo! Giving myself a nice wrist workout. Okay, once we get it to this mashed potato-y texture, we can put it in the microwave for about a minute. Ugh! It's this time again. <laughs> you know the drill. Let's plug our nose and pour the jelly into the cola. Ugh, why does this part have to be so smelly? Mix, mix, mix. Eh, I guess the smell is worth it though. The end product is amazing. Almost finished. Whew. Now that we got that over with, let's pour the liquid back into the bottle. You know, funny thought, I realized you guys are probably not using the refrigerator on your own. So you should tell the people around you that the cola jelly you're making is off limits. What if they drink it before it turns into jelly? Hmm, I wonder if they'll start growing a jelly in their tummy. <laughs> Just kidding, that can't happen. It has to be cold for the jelly to be formed. Okay, now that we filled it up, let's put it in the fridge for about an hour. And we're back! Let's see how our jelly turned out. It looks like there was a small little leak, but not a big problem. We'll have to use some scissors to cut open the plastic. So far so good. There's no liquids being spilled. Let me just rip this plastic. I don't like this part. Bear with me guys. Whew. Check it out. Yep, that's jelly. Oh, it's very jelly. Alright, let's rip open this plastic some more. Yeah! Almost got the middle off. If you guys know of an easier way to open up this plastic, just let me know. I think this is the easiest way though. Because once you just rip off the middle, you can pull off the bottom and top part. Like this. See? Okay, our jelly is looking good so far. Let's just pull this top part off. Gotta rip a little more from the top. Alright. Ok. 
Careful. Woo! And here's our full Coca-Cola gummy bottle. I actually prefer this over the half bottle. It does feel a little more firm and it's not as jiggly, but this one looks more like the Coca-Cola bottle than the half one. Now let's put the label back on. I thought the Fanta bottle we did look pretty real, but this one might actually fool people. Well, as long as they don't touch the bottle. Okay, to make it more real, let's add on the bottle cap. Whoa, wait, let's pause this real quick. I promise you if you show this image to anyone, they'll probably say it's a Coca-Cola bottle. Wow, we can really trick someone with this one. I shall do the honor of cutting the first slice. Yummy! And it would be rude of me if I took the first slice, so I'll give this big piece to you guys. Well, I'm gonna keep slicing this jelly into bite-sized pieces, so feel free to watch, or I suggest if you haven't been following along and making it with me, you should really go try it. It's pretty fun. And for all you health nuts out there, I mean, if you are a health freak, I don't know if you'll be making this, but if you are worried about the calories, whatever the soda bottle is, you just add 160 calories, because that's how many calories there are in 8 packets. So I guess it's not that bad. I mean, I'd say it's better than the cake. Also, it's pretty affordable too. All you have to pay for is the soda bottle and the jelly packet. And just another reminder for those who really like sweet stuff, this isn't as sweet as the soda, so you might want to add some corn syrup. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.